the uh, concept was started in the early 90s, founded in 92, which makes us uh, just over 22 years. There's about 1,200 people here by day. That includes uh, rich, poor, old, young, children, grand grandparents. Um, we are a self-contained community, a self-sustaining community as far as possible. Some people would say isolated, I disagree. We just love doing everything ourselves. We do our own roads, we do our own water, we do our own electricity, we do our own municipal bills, uh, we do our own school, we do our own church, we built our own church, we built our own community hall. Everything that you see here is built by the community. The only external suppliers that we get, uh, power-wise, is directly from ESCOM, but we've got our own electrical engineers that take care of the distribution. We've got our own meter readers that read the electricity. Water we pump from boreholes and dams, and again there we have our own municipal team that takes care of the, of the water readings. Um, if, if, if it comes to uh, health issues, uh, we've got a doctor that, that, that frequents uh, the community. We've got a clinic, we've even got an old age home um, where you can basically uh, either rent a, a room for yourself or you can share a room and eventually if, if it has to happen then if you pass away you get buried right here in Kleinfontein. The only component that, 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 uh, that, that we are dependent on of, of outside of Kleinfontein is, is, is law and security. We're not a law unto our own. Uh, we, we make use of the South African police, police services. So in the event that there's some sort of an issue that requires authority, of course, uh, the South African ro uh, rules and laws apply to us. I've been uh, 10 years now. staff members. We are part of the, the, uh, uh, the BCVO board. Uh, that's an organization uh, on its own, but uh, also we're part of uh, Gauteng North Educational. So uh, we, we, com we can comply with all, all the needs of, of, of the government and uh, we, we follow more or less their curriculum, uh, except that, f for instance, we've got biblical studies as, as a subject in the school. Um, this bust of Dr. Verwurt embarrassed the DA so much in, uh, where was it? Uh, where was the municipality? Midval. And it eventually found its way via um, uh, a gift from one group to another and uh, it, it, it was hidden for a while, not hidden for a while, stored for a while and eventually found its way here. Yeah. Dr. Favurt is part of the history, as is Nelson Mandela part of the history, as is Steve Biko part of the history and whether you like history or not, it does not make it not history. We intend uh, expanding on this, uh, in Afrikaans I would call it a Helder Akker. We have a bust of, um, of President Paul Kruger on its way. Here we've got a monument commemorating three, uh, what is a gelofte in English? Um, vow, almost like a vow. One, one is Paar de Kral, which dates from uh, the, the, the Boer and the, and the English wars. The other one is Blood River, of course, that, that, that is very well known. And then uh, the other one was two years after the landing of von Rybiak. As I said before, whether you like history or you dislike history, it is still history.